Well, I've come up to the Mountain View Innovation Centre in Ramsey, and as you can see, this is quite a place to have a meeting tonight. Robin, 600 people, you expect 600 it? people, and You yes. can seat them all. You can seat them all, I'm yes. really impressed with this. Yes. This is a sound studio or something for the film business. This is the right? old film studio, indeed, yeah. OK, well, we've got lots to talk about. This is a, a massive undertaking project, whatever idea, and, and I know you've been saying for word go, this is only the beginning of the journey for yeah, people. Exactly. And you've asked for views, and you've got 600 people plus, I, I should imagine, wanting to give them to you tonight. Yeah, positive and negative, I suspect. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Do you think people are intransigent almost? They'll, they'll come in with their views, and, and you won't be able to shake it. I think there's going to be a hardcore of people who will, will are determined not to be convinced. Uh, and we've clearly got to do what we can to persuade them. Um, I think I, I, it'll be ludicrous to suggest that we're going to get 100% support for anything as big as this, or as, as, as a, so much of a game changer, really, isn't it? Well, there are some massive questions. I think on, on your website you've been dealing with those. So should, should we go through some of the yeah, major yeah, ones? What, yeah. what are the number one concerns? Beach, the beach, um, and and yes, no, the beach is there. But I think there are several things we have to bear in mind is that before the two harbour piers and entrance into the harbour were built. Uh, the beach wasn't there. It, it got washed all the way up to the point of air. Um, so there is literal drift moving from south to north along that beach. Uh, and um, uh, so, so we're just sort of doing the same again, but a bit further south. We're going to use about a third of the beach. But what, as I will explain to the people so far, that because we've listened to them, what they said on the, um, the Max forums and things like that, is that we will rebuild the beach uh, to, uh, immediately to the south. Now we can kickstart that. Well, when we do the dredging, we can put sand over the edge, as it were, mm. and create a beach. So between about 100 metres north of the pier, we can create a new beach and make it. Um, uh, thing. But of course, what, what, what I'm going to emphasise this evening is that we'll have a large um, uh, open area, uh, landscaped, and people will be able to walk their dogs there, um, 24 by 7, uh, they, which they can't do at high water at the moment, of course. Uh, and, um, you know, clearly we want to put, I'll be showing some other activities in some of the other marinas that I know, have, having sailed okay. all my life, yeah. What about the people who've got already houses there who are going to suddenly find all this development in front of them? Um, well, actually, there's only, there's only the area from the bowling alley or the church northwards. So it's only going to be the houses, four or five houses, that are going to lose their view. The, the existing yacht, uh, premises of the yacht club and the, and the lifeboat station are uh, probably not so worried about their view, but they will move anyway. The lifeboat's moving, is it? The, yeah, we're going to give them a new facility uh, near the harbour office. And the, and the lifeboat will be more 24 by 7 oh. afloat. Yeah. So, okay. Everyone else that's got houses, when well, they have masts in, in there, and um, that sort of thing. Uh, the, the, yes, at high water, they'll probably see, there will be yes, they probably see about three or four meters of oh. um, masts at high water. What do you know about building marinas? Um, well, it's not so much marinas, but harbors. Um, I'm uh, right in the middle of. Um, uh, sorting out a project in Nigeria where we'll move 10 million cubic meters of sand. Here we're moving 350, 400,000 meters of uh, sand. So uh, small by what um, me and my partners in uh, Africa are doing out there. And you're doing this as a commercial undertaking, therefore there's lots of money involved and you will be very rich from, it, from the end of it. Well, on the marina, yeah. no, afraid not. Um, I mean, the marina will only have a, a, a income um, stream of about um, between one and two million. Uh, if you've got 400 boats, each paying three thousand pounds a year for their mooring, that's 1.2 million, and then other income. So this this is very not not a money spinner. Why are you doing it then? Because I a I'd like to have a boat to sail here. I've been here seven summers, and I think I've managed two weekends. I disappear back to the Isle of Wight. To do my sailing where I keep my boat. You uh, like islands, you were born in Jersey, so you've just been on islands, right? <laughs> yeah, from <laughs> island to island. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think, quite honestly, uh, I see it's a huge opportunity. If I've got the expertise to be able to put this together, then I, I think it's, uh, you know, I should do my duty, as it were, in doing so. It's yeah. going to be a tough one, though. Uh, we started almost changing people's perceptions. A lot of people don't want change nope. and are happy as the status quo you're not going to be able to satisfy them no 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 we can't but i think that i mean if everything was 
simple and straightforward, it would have been done long since. Uh, I think if we could do it now, uh, the advantages, especially to Ramsey and overall to the island, clearly, uh, because it will provide a major levers, leisure facility, um, uh, that, that, that will over, uh, override the um, disadvantages of losing the beach, perhaps. Will we see it, I was going to say this century, but you know what I mean, will we see it in the imminent future if things happen? Yeah. Or are we talking 10, 20 years no, down? No, no, no. We, we, we would hope um, that uh, we could do all the technical studies in the next 18, 24 months and therefore start work for, through the summer season. Clearly, we, we no contractor in their right mind will start mm -hmm. working on the foreshore there in the middle of the winter. So we're, we're, we're looking for an April 21 start. Has Anne Reynolds and Co. given you the nod that this is what they want? I mean, is, yes, is it something uh, on their, their list of things to do? Yeah, I... I, I, I um, they, they clearly can't commit to this because it has to go through various processes, but very definitely they've, they've told us that a 24 by 7 marina of this type is something they would keenly support, but clearly we've got to go through all the, the usual, I think the expression that seems to crop up on people's lips is due process, sure. uh, and clearly we would, would follow that. Have you got some MHKs and that sort of people coming as well, along as well tonight? Have you, have you had uh, your moment with them? Or? Oh, no, no, we've got, I think we've got 14 or 15 MHKs and MLCs coming tonight. Mm -hmm. um, some, some of the departments are well represented tonight, DOI, uh, mm -hmm. DFE and, and DEFA. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 the key, the key uh, departments will be here tonight. Lots more to talk about, so we'll have a part two of this.